Welcome to the Bloody Mary podcast, where we talk about all things horror while drinking a Bloody Mary. I'm Jesse. And I'm Tammy. And we are totally married. Ow! And with us tonight to talk about our favorite zombie films is a rad special guest. She is a musician, composer, singer, songwriter, and actress among many other things in the realm of entertainment. Uh, most notably, she played Heather in my short film, Night of the Witch, and also yeah. composed the score, which garnered her three awards. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to welcome Tanya Ballman to the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> You're Thanks welcome. for being good here. To be here. I know. We, we planned on doing this uh, before the pandemic. We did. Yeah, we planned it like a year, a year or so ago. <laughs> pandemic happened, and then all our guests had to be pushed aside. <laughs> we got so many lined up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, All well, right. Yeah, glad you're here. This is cool. We're excited. Yeah. Me too. Well, before we jump into our zombie favorites, mm -hmm. we're going to do a little bit of interviewing. Yes. So yes. Uh, what's your favorite horror movie and why? Okay. That's such a big question. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that's so hard to answer. <laughs> I was bouncing around ideas earlier. I asked Sai, like, hey, what horror film do I talk about the most? We kind of talked about The Shining and Silence of the Lambs. He said I talk about those like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so those are good, just classic creepy ones. But then I thought of The Cabin in the Woods. Um, oh, yeah. That is such a fun movie. I, I That was one of the most just fun, impactful horror movies. I don't even know if it really counts as a, as a pure horror movie, but it's a good horror comedy. I mm -hmm. think so. Yeah. I think it yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. That one's just so fun. I love... Um, how they took all the archetypes and all the tropes and then just kind of made them feel fresh. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, I love all the creatures in that. There's a moment where um, they the, all, all the creatures have escaped and the elevators open and they mm -hmm. all just come and smash into each other. Like and I was part. just yeah, I was just <laughs> cool. giddy watching that. Yeah. It's so fun. So I think um, I, that one has some of the most rewatch value for me. I could watch that every year for Halloween and still enjoy it. <laughs> That's a great one. I think we rewatched that like a year or so ago. Yeah. But it's really good. Yeah. I, I like th that whole gimmick of the stoner kid. Yeah. Like the, the weed <laughs> interfered with the signal. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. Well, they have these chemicals that they pump into the room and I yeah. think that make them more um, influenceable. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the weed interfered just, with just that. So, it. And he's really paranoid to begin with because he's yeah. a stoner. So he knows what's going on the whole time and they don't believe him he's like do not read the latin i'm drawing the line do not read the latin right? and the whole basement thing is fun where mm -hmm. all the little toys are down there yeah yeah for sure bring out the monsters and, and i really like the two I, I forget the actors names but the two main guys that are operating the thing yeah they're <laughs> yeah. really funny that whole dynamic is so hilarious <laughs> and they have the whole betting system on how the people are gonna die i yep. just right. think it's a clever movie it's oh, yeah. really fresh and fun that's a great so, pick. Yeah. yeah. That is a great pick. Thank yeah, you. For sure. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm glad to hear you think I have good taste. <laughs> <laughs> or when Thor like wax yeah. against the yeah. <laughs> you think he's gonna live. Yeah. But, yeah. And then he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so cool. the next question is what got you into acting and composing? That's another big one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I actually started acting when I was eight years old. Um, my brother went, uh, we, we l went to a high school up in Riverside. I don't know. I mean, I don't think people are going to know where that is, but <laughs> North of Spokane, <laughs> he was in a drama program at the high school and he, I really wanted to learn to act. I thought yeah. it was so cool that he was in drama. So he actually convinced the director to write in a part and cast me in a play. Oh, it cute. was my first play was Treasure Island. And she wrote in a part for me as like the captain's daughter. And I had probably one or two lines, but I was just hooked. And I, um, she actually kept bringing me in for shows. So I got to just start building my acting chops from that age forward. And that's awesome. Was, yeah, it was, I, cool. I'm really yeah. grateful that I got to do that. That was really cool. And we actually, um, she started a program too, where they did a mentorship between the high school students and the third graders. That's the grade I was in at the time. So that's kind of what got me in, in there. And so I got to do a lot of theatrical acting yeah. and I've been in theater since, yeah, since I was eight years old, but I started in film when I was going to Eastern, I was doing running start there. 
Um, and local filmmaker Kendra Ann Cheryl yeah, cast yeah. me in her senior film. And so that was my first film acting experience. And I've been doing film ever since then. And then when it comes to composing, I actually acted in your trailer for Night of the Witch. Yeah. Jesse's trailer for Night of the Witch. And um, just had such a great time. And then he was looking for a composer. And I'm a musician. So he was like, hey, do you know anyone who could score score this thing? And I was like, I could do <laughs> it. <laughs> You're like, me, me. I got it. Yeah. So I borrowed some equipment and used some free programs and just threw that score together but that, that was a really great like fly by the seat of your pants yeah, yeah. <laughs> learning experience yeah. and i got hooked on that too so i've been scoring films now for five years we made mm. that thing five years ago i know that's five that years crazy? <laughs> the that's movie or the trailer? the trailer the trailer the tra yeah okay yeah. i was gonna say yeah movie? that's how you guys met yeah too. Mm -hmm. yep yeah yeah. Well, that score sounded really great for just like, uh, like you said, grabbing instruments and just throwing Thank things together you. with free programs. Like I, I would think it's, you know, pro Thank level. Thank you so much. I yeah. love, I love, I, I, that was such a fun thing and it really opened up a new world for me. So I'm glad I got to do that. That's great. Yeah. That's yeah. exciting. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. And then uh, what is your favorite movie, horror movie score? Okay. <laughs> horror movie scores. I think that you can't talk about horror movie scores without talking about Halloween. Um, Absolutely. Sure. <laughs> it's that, so iconic. That is. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like it has influenced just about every horror score since then. Definitely. Just that piano. I mean, that actually influenced a lot of what I did with The Night of the Witch. The do 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 That yeah. was uh, kind of the inspiration for the scene when Heather is walking out and then gets her throat slit in Night of oh, the Witch. Oh, that's cool. That, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I kind of pulled um, sort of just the, the, the vibe of that tinkly piano, but... Um, here, I wrote down a couple others just as kind of honorable mentions. Oh, I, I don't want to talk about that yet because it's on my, it's on my <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> zombie list. But um, Midsummer has a really cool, creepy, crazy score. I don't even know really if that counts as a horror film too, but... Um. We, we, we hate that movie. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah. But I... I, Wait, I want to hear more about this. I want the tea on this. After we watched it, we were both like... We just wasted two and a half hours of our life. <laughs> oh my we gosh. can't get back. <laughs> That's and so funny. All you had to do was not go into the place <laughs> that made you drink LSD before you went into it. <laughs> So, yeah. thanks. I, yeah. I, I, I understand why people uh, like it, um, much like, you know, a lot of other films. I can see yeah. why, why people like it. <laughs> but I didn't. So, I liked his first movie, Hereditary. Her, I, yeah, that movie. I liked that one. It was awesome. And then we watched Midsummer, and that made me not like that one anymore either. Really? It made me like it like a lot, a lot less. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just didn't <laughs> like the characters. I didn't. They're obnoxious. I, they they're, are. They're very and there were so characters. many instances where you're like of course you're dead because there's so <laughs> yeah. many warning signs and yeah. you guys are just like whoa and, and yeah. just not relatable and just like <laughs> Which, shut yeah. up shut up but it's like a common theme in, in horror movies to run into those situations but i don't know something about this one was like it was just too uh, was, yeah i don't know yeah i feel that i love the juxtaposition of like the beautiful pastel uh, color palette, right, that and pretty imagery, and then just the horrible. <laughs> it was shot well. I, it was yeah. shot well for sure. I, I didn't. I'd have to, you know, listen to the score. And, and, mm -hmm. But I haven't. There yeah. are some really cool effects in that really good tension building. And then I also wanted to mention the Nightmare Before Christmas or anything oh. by Danny Elfman yeah. because yes. he is yeah. just yeah. A, he's That's a genius a musician. Yeah. I love his scores. Um, so I feel like I'd be remiss not to mention. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> absolutely he's great. His stuff. Yeah, cool. I think like my favorite composer is uh, God, the Scream one, uh, Marco Beltrami. Mm -hmm. he, he does a lot of horror stuff. Yeah, he does. I, I, I like his sound. Yeah. What, whatever he does, I, I like the atmosphere he, he creates, mm -hmm. for sure. Totally. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Let's just jump into it then. All right. Um, so I just want to say this is my first podcast interview ever and my first Bloody Mary ever. Oh, so. oh yes. <laughs> We're cherry. We are cherry popping tonight. Cherry, cherry popping motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, great. How's your first Bloody Mary then? It's good. It's I said I said earlier, it's like drinking spaghetti. 
I'm into it. Who doesn't like spaghetti? <laughs> yeah, rain? with a little like bit of vodka. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's jump in. So, Tanya, what are your three favorite zombie films? Okay, I have to pull up my list. Mm-hmm. I I feel a little self conscious about it. I feel like it's very contemporary, and it's some okay. people are not going to dig that. <laughs> so, I'm going to start with my number three, and I actually think I'm going to switch what I put as an honorable mention okay. with my number three. So, I want to give my number three position to Train to Busan. Have you seen that one? I have not. Everyone's saying see it. You should watch Train to Busan. Yeah. It has such, oh my gosh, it's intense. Yeah. It's very intense. And there's some really great moments in that that are just so, I mean, like adrenaline filled. Yeah. And just some really clever zombie effects. And I've been getting a little bit more into like foreign mm-hmm. horror films lately yeah. because it seems like they play into different elements than you're used to seeing sometimes. What's so. like the elevator pitch plot of that? <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they're on a train. Is, is, is it like snakes on a plane, but with zombies? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yes. it's zombies on a train. That's cool. Yeah. How, I, how are the effects? Are they digital? Oh, they're or really they good. I, it's a little bit of a mix of both, yeah. I think. Cool. But, yeah. um, it's a really fun movie. I highly recommend it. I think it's still on Netflix. Yeah. So. It's definitely on the list for sure. Yeah, definitely yeah. check it out. Um, but, okay, so my number two, I think it's fun that you mentioned that you like uh, like comedy zombies. Zombies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> zombies, um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> me too. I love them. So my top two are both zombies. Um, my number two is Zombieland. Uh, cool. I love that movie. I think that the characters are so fun. I have to. I have to clarify. I mean, the first Zombieland, not the second. <laughs> <laughs> the second one was fun too, but it just there. That the first Zombieland just catches you from the opening sequence. It's so beautiful. They it have does. like that really yeah. high frame rate. Um, and Metallica, slow motion. right? Yeah, yep. yeah. For whom the bell tolls, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. just these yep. awesome zombie in- images, and then. Woody Harrelson is so fun in that movie. Yeah. The Bill Murray yeah. segment. Is, yeah, it's so, so good. Yeah. It's so good. And I don't feel like it tries to be anything it's not either. Yeah. But it does have some really great horror segments too. It does. Mm-hmm. It does. When they're when they're in the theme park at the end. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty intense. That was terrifying. I yeah. remember like, <laughs> the edge of my seat when that was happening. Totally. Sure. Yeah, I like the char- Woody yeah. Harrelson's character is great. Everyone was good in that. Um, yeah for sure yeah it's a good ensemble cast and it's it's heartwarming in a way you kind of get attached to those characters and that's why i liked the second one too is it it just kind of gave you an opportunity to check back in with them and see what they're they're doing doing. (laughs) didn't didn't like amazon when they started doing series try to do a zombie land series i think i heard about that and they did like one or two episodes they're like nah shut it down yeah shut it down this sucks yeah i heard something about that I have to go I, look it up. Yeah, but. I'm not sure how I would feel about a, a yeah. Zombieland TV show. Well, they, they like recast everyone, I think, and kept their names with different actors. Yeah, and you have to... Yeah. The beauty of that is the, the chemistry of the cast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's a, that's a great pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I kind of want to hear your uh, three and two from both of you, and then I think we should reveal our number ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Yes. So, so All Tammy, right. what's your third favorite? <laughs> I've got ADHD. <laughs> We're <laughs> We're changing it up. It up. <laughs> Third favorite zombie. <laughs> Throwing me curveballs. <laughs> well, as you mentioned before, um, I love zombies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> zombies aren't my, you know, if I'm going to watch a horror movie, I'm not going to lean towards zombies. I'm I'm not. I want to see some murder and not <laughs> some virus killing things. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my number three is Zombieland. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> I was wondering if we were going to share um, any. And, and kind of like it was like watching it. Um, it was so funny and I feel like Woody Harrelson was just like born for that role yeah. like when he's like yeah. your mama said you're gonna be good at something she didn't oh, he has <laughs> I guess so she wouldn't know that it would be one-liners. zombies and he's just and just his pure glee yeah. in killing the zombies yeah. and then like um, his chemistry with Jesse Eisenberg and then Emma Stone mm. and Abigail Breslin. Mm-hmm. Like, they just, it's such a great ensemble cast, and the chemistry is really great. And um, 
the rules. I like how they mm-hmm. like yeah, they bring rules are bring fun. out the rules. You know, like yeah, <laughs> buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> run <laughs> cardio, cardio, cardio. <laughs> I like, know. Oh, that's such fun. It's the the writing and the opening right sequence is and the so opening fun. it just grabs you yeah. and you're laughing and then there is that <laughs> intense moment in the mm-hmm. theme park. Yeah. And um, I mean, the Bill Murray scene is just <laughs> great because then, and then when they revisit it in two, he's the good dude that killed Bill Murray. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that and that was, was just like, and just their whole, you know, when they get to the mansion and just it was so much fun. Yeah, so so much fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, his character Woody Harrelson is like a mix between Ash from Evil Dead and. I don't know. <laughs> A cowboy. He has so many good one-liners. I love yeah. when he's like, "You're you're a pappy little spit fuck, ain't you?" Oh, and, and the whole Twinkies thing was great. Oh, the Twinkies. Yeah. That's why he was. He just wanted Twinkies. He just wanted Twinkies. <laughs> he's like, Super "I'm sensing you're a bit of a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> On that note, what's your number two? My number two is Shaun of the Dead. Oh my gosh! Okay, that's awesome. Um, that's <laughs> actually, from my memory, the first zombie film I enjoyed, mm-hmm. and I think I saw that's sad. some of the old, <laughs> older ones in the theater, like mm-hmm. uh, the black and white ones, when mm-hmm. the Garland, who's a which is a theater here in town, that would play when I was younger, uh, old movies. So I would mm-hmm. go to them all the time, and it didn't mm. matter what was there; I was just at the movies. Um, but the one I re- remember watching and really like, I really like this, is that. It's witty. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. Simon Pegg. Another yeah. great script, too. Oh, my Such gosh. Such a great script. Yeah. And s- just funny, and you're laughing in the record scene when they're throwing, <laughs> when he throws a record and they get his collection and they're going, no, not that one. And they <laughs> throw, not that one. Oh, really. Yeah, they're sorting through it like, oh, yeah, no, mm-hmm. toss that one. And they're yeah. trying to kill zombies with records and just, and then like the little romantic comedy mm-hmm. moving in there and- I just, that's the yeah. first one I was like, all right, I yeah. like this zombie movie. They, they came across like a whole group that looked like them was really funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And just like he's lazy and they're just sitting on the couch and all of a sudden mm-hmm. the zombie's like right there. Yeah, just. And then he kept his buddy at the end, right? Yeah. 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 I just, I really enjoyed that one. And so that was really the first one that stuck in my head, like. Yeah. The okay. one I liked. And then really like, okay, if I'm going to watch a zombie movie, it's going to have to be funny for me. Totally. Yeah. I haven't so. seen that again. I don't think I've seen that in over, probably around the time it came out. Oh, man. Gotta, you got to watch gotta that gotta one. Got to revisit it. I've mm-hmm. actually watched that movie. more than once. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Sai and I were just <laughs> Which talking. For, yeah, you know, with zombies, I, usually, like Zombieland, I can watch it. Mm-hmm. or But like usually I'm like, all right. And yeah. Then, Sai and I were just talking about how much it takes to get you to rewatch a movie. Like it's got to be yeah. good if you're mm-hmm. going to spend oh, another yeah. two hours of yeah. your life watching something. Definitely. <laughs> All right, husband. What is your number three and number um, two? Let's see. What are they? Let me find my. Okay. Uh, <laughs> number three for me is the Dawn of the Dead remake from 2004. Mm-hmm. Zack Snyder's <laughs> right? first movie. Um, I, I, I just, you know, right off the bat. I mean, get it out of the way. Um, so George Romero is like kind of the lord of zombie movies. Mm-hmm. He did Night of the Living Dead, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead. And um, they're fine, but they're just not my favorite. Mm-hmm. Right. So I, I, I like the remake better. That's what yeah. I'm getting at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it was just rad. It looked good. It, was one of, it has one of my favorite film openings. They're playing Johnny Cash over uh, the montage mm-hmm. of the whole city. You know, catching on fire and everything that's happening. Have you seen the Dawn of the Dead remake? Yeah, I think I have. I yeah. think what you're saying is ringing bells, but yeah, um, it just it was cool. Um, fun acting, fun gore. Um, there was a cool character arc with like a security guard right. where he was a douchebag. Yeah, and then he they do a thing where he came around, and then you like him. And I just love it almost in any movie when they pull that off. Yeah. Where you start with a, a character you don't like at all. Mm-hmm. And at the end of it, you're rooting for him. Yeah. I think that's hard to do. And I don't see it happen too often. So yeah. I, I really like that about it. And the gore was really cool. Like, I think the I DVD I got, gore. Um, it shows like a lot of the behind the scenes of you know how they rigged things. And so that was really fun. Um, Is that the one that, ha- that where they have a dog and they're on top of the mall? Yes. 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 And they're they've got like the sign <laughs> yeah, where they're yeah, yeah. saying the celebrity. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I I, yeah. I think. And then I know there's what a cool scene where like there's a guy 
across uh, the way on a rooftop and then they're like shooting at zombies yeah, together. Yeah, because he has the sign yeah. that he writes celebrities' names yeah. on and they're yeah. supposed like, to like, shoot the lookalike. Rosie O'Donnell. And then he's like, oh, I see one. Uh, yes. Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. They yeah. send the dog across to bring supplies. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember. The, I just like that one. That one's, um, I can watch it more than once and I have and it's entertaining every time I watch yeah. it. Yeah. yeah we Ving, watched that one a couple years ago, right? Yeah. Ving Rhames is cool in it. Yeah. I just like it. There's zombie babies. There's a zombie baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Because he chained her <laughs> yeah. up to the thing. Oh, she I was pregnant the whole that. time yeah. and then she gave birth yeah. to the zombie baby. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. That is a fun, that's such a, that's a fun one. Yeah. Then that's there's the, like movie. the. The big fat zombie lady that's running, <laughs> like the wife. Yeah, that's a good, good one. That's my third. Uh, number two, 28 Days Later, 2002. Okay. Um, I, when you're talking about the conversation of uh, best zombie films or best horror films, I think this is in the conversation, at least for me. Um, I think it's solid and I think it was ahead of its time a little bit. The director is really great, Danny Boyle. Mm -hmm. um, and this came out um, when they were just starting digital instead of film. It was like tra that transition. And so many movies got it wrong. Like they were shooting things wrong. They looked like crap. But mm -hmm. he was one of the ones that it, it looked good. Yeah. And it was shot digitally. Yeah. Uh, I thought the zombies look really cool. With their the zombies were cool. Red eyes and um, mm -hmm. puking up blood and running all around. Uh, Cillian Murphy did a great job. I like the plot and the premise. Um and Walking Dead kind of ripped it off. Yeah. <laughs> we watched that, yeah. or I watched that for the first time, like, two days ago. Yeah. And I was like, isn't this like Walking Dead? <laughs> yeah, because it starts with he wakes up in the hospital and doesn't yeah. know what's going on. And that's yeah. exactly how Walking Dead starts. Unless, like, the comic came first and then this one ripped off the comic. But I don't know. It's right. just uh, that's how Walking Dead starts. Mm -hmm. But it was really cool, like the shots of, I don't know how they pull it off. They had like huge shots of like London completely empty, just the man yeah. walking the street. Uh, that was really cool. I think it was, um, you know, a, a, what a lot of zombie movies do is they, it's a lens to society. Like that's the lesson, the hidden yeah, yeah, between right, a lot right. of these zombie flicks. And I think this one did a really good job doing it. Totally. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think about 28 Days Later? I enjoyed it <laughs> when we watched it <laughs> yeah, two yeah, days yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy Cillian Murphy. I think he was great. Um, yeah. You get to see his, all of his bits in that movie. Mm -hmm. Which is Oh, yeah, thing. you get to see his wiener in his butt. Yeah. yeah. Man, <laughs> my heart was like, he's always like, boobs. And I'm like, we have yet to see no man butt. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, Maybe there are we other need parts. To, we need to write something. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, no, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, but it was, yeah. you know. Do you, do you like 28 Days Later? Yeah, you know, it's not it's not bad. It's not one of my favorites, yeah, I would yeah. say. But but I think it's got some cool elements in it. I, you know, I, I've seen, like, all of the zombie movies, and so I get them a little yeah. muddled in my head. But if I'm thinking about this, they, they have, like, a, they have one that they keep out back, right? Yes. That they yeah. keep yes. Yeah. So, like, the third yeah, okay, act of the yeah, film, they go to this, like, military compound where they think they'll be safe. Yeah. Then, like, that's where, like, the real oh, terror yeah. sets in because... The military, they're bad. They want yeah, to like, that's the thing is that the, the people are the bad they guys. They want the not girls, the zombies, right? So they can, so they can rape them and them. impregnate them. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, what? And then the second half is like a a zombie with uh, Cillian Murphy killing them all off. All the yeah. Then it starts like, raining and he's got his shirt off. And then he's like going around killing people. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that might have been part of the thing where I, I was just like, could you pick a plot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. But I um, do. I think it's a nice, solid, yeah. solid choice. Cool. Well, let's move All on right. to number, number one. one. What's number your one's, favorite okay. zombie film? My favorite zombie film is Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. Um, yes. Yep. And I wanted to talk about the soundtrack of that sh that movie, too. It's got a great soundtrack. It opens with um, Ghost Town by The Specials. Okay. They're one of my favorite bands. They're a ska band. And yeah. I was in a ska band for six years. So, mm. um that band just kind of has a special place in my heart. I don't know if you know the song I'm talking about. But I, I heard, if I heard it, I probably... This town is becoming like a ghost town. Yep, that song. And it's just like, that song's so spooky. And then I love um, the opening sequence when it just shows everybody going about their days. And they, yeah. could, they could be zombies. Like, yeah. that's why... And that's one of my favorite that. elements about that film is that the zombies are happening mm -hmm. through, like, the first... 
you know, the whole yeah. time, the probably the first 45 minutes <laughs> and you just, Sean doesn't notice. He like yeah. goes to the store. He's all tired. He picks out his treats and like <laughs> can't get the attention of the guy at the counter. So he just leaves money and it turns out the guy's dead. That's and, funny. And, and, and everybody's zombies. He just doesn't even notice. And I love all the little family, like the mundane family drama. Mm. <laughs> what, what kicks it off? How does he realize that it's happening? I forget. Oh, I think their does their roommate get I think, sick? I think so. Oh, their roommate gets mugged. He thinks he got mugged the night before. Right, right, right. Yeah. And then okay. and it turns out he got he, bit he's by a zombie. zombie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's like, the guy bit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he turns it out to be a zombie, but I think there's also like it's the backyard scene where mm -hmm. they're using the records. Yeah. That's oh, when they yeah. first start yeah, to realize. Sure. Well, yeah. and then, like I said, they're sitting on the couches watching TV, and then all of a sudden there's a zombie mm -hmm. in the living room, and they're like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. And then that, I think that's where they run outside, yeah. and then totally. they start throwing records and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and I love how quickly they adjust to the idea of there being zombies, <laughs> too. They're just like, all right, we'll go to the Winchester. <laughs> like, all right. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the bar. <laughs> Let's go to the pub. Yeah. Yeah. And all the, all, all the while, there's all this family drama happening and the re relationship relationship drama it's just so fun yeah it's a well-written movie mm -hmm. i love that director i love uh, hot fuzz i think mm -hmm. is great so funny. Mm -hmm. and I, what was the other one end of the world or uh, world's end so, yeah something yeah. like that and, and uh, paul paul is a good paul? movie too i haven't seen paul, paul. i've seen paul but yeah yeah baby driver is great i like that yeah but sean and dead that's where, where it all started right he made a short film first i, I saw so. i saw a short film um, I think, right? Yeah, he made a short film and then yeah. Shaun of the Dead. Isn't it? Isn't it a trilogy based on flavors of ice cream? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. It, it could be. <laughs> I know. I know that the Winchester is in it, all of it, right? Uh, or, I'm not sure. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm making things up. I'm just making shit up. We're just making shit up now. <laughs> yeah. No, Sean and Ned, that's a, that's a solid yeah, choice. Yeah, that sounds fake. It's a trilogy based on ice cream. Ice choice. cream no, and, and the bar. At least I'm the bar sure. serves the ice cream. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. But yeah, I just that's just such a solid movie all around. And I do yeah. watch that all the time. It's one of my comfort movies. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> just you know, one of the ones a... I come back to when I want something I know. Mm -hmm. That's a great pick. And... Great horror sequences in that one too. Yeah. When they're in the bar at the end, oh, and yeah. there's just the horde closing in. That's terrifying. And it's sad too. Like they're about to kill themselves, and yeah. then they get rescued. <laughs> That's cool. yeah. It's a crazy movie. It is, but so fun. Yeah. So fun. So so fun. Well, what's yours? What's, what's your number one? one? My number one is Return of the Living Dead. Ooh, yeah, that was my <laughs> that was my honorable mention. Which yep. Husband had um, was like, well, you need to watch this. Oh, yeah. If we're married, you're watching. This. If, we, yeah, if we're married, this is a movie we're watching. You yeah. haven't seen it? What? And so it's I'm so like, fun. How can I not love a movie that has a character named Trash Tits? <laughs> <laughs> trash Tits. I'm just saying. I think her name is Trash. It's but I mean, they call her Trash Tits. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, Trash Tits. Yeah. And then just the. It's so fun. It's and so fun. It's just, it is. It's rad. It's a mm -hmm. rad. It is horror movie. It's yeah. well made. It's well it's made. It's very well produced. And the effects for that time is fun and yeah. good. And mm -hmm. it's terrible. Like when they're in the, when they're in the graveyard and then they're just all coming uh -huh. out and like it's no place to go. It's claustrophobic. At, at <laughs> yeah. And then they all Great then, mix of horror comedy right. right naked yeah. lady dance scene yes so many boners in <laughs> i'm sure that is one horny movie but, uh, it really what, is uh, what's her name leanna quigley i think yes yeah 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 she's she's, she's great actress, a great actress. Yeah. she had her she has a little horror uh workout v vhs oh uh, yeah yeah she does yeah that's do you, expensive do you have that i don't have that, I have that. Oh, yeah it's hard cool. to find it's, it's hard like, to find it's yeah, like worth sure. hundreds yeah. Um, but <laughs> That's it was worth hundreds. It's super entertaining and fun and it's yes. a rad fucking zombie movie. Yeah. And just um the coroner in his like velour mm -hmm. tracksuit and they're it's just so like great. it's just <laughs> ridiculousness is and the, then do i remember a radioactive zombie yeah. in that one yeah who he, like comes out of the barrel is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 brain yeah and then they're so like it fun. worked in the movies <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and then the part where like 
So then the their cops come and the ambulance comes and then they end up being zombies and then like the zombie cop like send <laughs> yeah. more cops. Send more police. <laughs> yeah, send more police. I love and that. Then they oh my cops. god. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was just um it was one where I wasn't thinking about it being zombies. Yeah. It was just a yeah. rad well, yeah. horror flick. I, I think it was like the first zombie movie we watched together. And it I was. It. I'm yeah. Like, you're going to like it. Yeah. You're going to like it. You're, Even you're, if you, yeah. If yeah. you like that kind of stuff, then you like Definitely. it. Definitely. Sure. That, that movie's awesome. Um, Tarman, did you call him? Tar, that's Tar, his name. Tar, Tarman. Tarman. I, oh, okay. I must have missed that somehow. But he... He the effects on that guy are great. Oh, I, they're so, so scary great. and just so and icky. Icky yeah. and gross. Yeah. <laughs> and... yeah, how he moved. He's yeah. actually the actor who plays Tarman is going to be at Crypticon that we're. Going. Oh my gosh! He's going to be at a booth we're going to in a I few weeks going because to have to meet um, him. my film Night of the Witch is playing at Crypticon in Seattle. Woo! Soon. Our film. Our, Our film. film. <laughs> we all worked on that one. Yeah. Oh, cool. So what's your number one? My number one is the same movie. It's Return of the Living Dead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time, horror comedies of all time. It's just quintessential horror comedy. Like mm-hmm. you have to watch it, you know, mm-hmm. if you if you like that stuff. Fun characters, great practical effects, super fun plot, and the soundtrack's really great. Too. It is. Yeah, and it's the, the scoring and then the songs they chose, it's all really good. Mm-hmm. Um, the trash tits dance is awesome. It is so good with the boobs. <laughs> um, I like the two Bert uh, and and Freddie, right? Yeah. Bert and Freddie, the two main yeah. guys. Their chemistry together mm-hmm. is great. Um, I like that they tried to kill the first zombie by in the brain, and then it doesn't work. Right. And I like that these zombies, you can't really kill them; they're invincible. Mm-hmm. Like they, even they burn them, and they're at the end. The ash like reanimates. reanimates. So yeah. you, they can't be killed, yeah. which is interesting. I, I think that's a lot of fun. Um, some of the most iconic zombie designs are in this, like Tarman. Yeah. And then there's the lady zombie that's on the table. It's her torso. Oh, And they like kidnapped yes, it. Yes, yes. they just grabbed it. They're interrogating it. Like, why do you, what are you doing this for? <laughs> She's like, great. <laughs> And then why? Because it soothes the pain of being dead. <laughs> yeah. that, that was so great. Um, yeah, there's so so many cool and uh, the zombies can speak and run. Right. And I think that's, I guess all my top picks, they can all run. So I guess I don't like slow zombies. Like all yeah. my top three, they're running. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Huh. That's cool. Slow zombies aren't super intimidating. No. They're no, not. No. I, I They seem really feasible to be able to deal with. Yeah. Unless you get right. overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, I love Return of Living Dead. And, that, and this movie came as a dispute between the creators of Night of the Living Dead. I was just reading about that. The two writers. And then um, they decided to just split rights. And then you can go do whatever you want. And then George Romero can go do whatever you want. And this guy did Return of Living Dead. And. I think I, I like it better than Night of the Living Dead. I just think it's great. Yeah. I, I like the one character. I think his name's, oh, he's the, the black character. He says, what the fuck is like his line through like the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. You can watch like a super cut on YouTube of him go, what the fuck, fuck, fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking go. Fuck? Like it's just fuck is in all of his lines. <laughs> so it's so great. As it um, should be. Yeah. It's appropriate for that um, situation. But yeah, number one is definitely is Return of the Living Dead. So we agree on that. We do. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Now we're married. Yeah. And it totally, it's it's totally on my honorable mention. I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It was Return actually my number three, but I switched them. I felt like Train to Busan was a little bit unsung. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I I'll wanted to give it a little extra credit. I'm going to have to watch that <laughs> you, for sure. you should. Yeah. You should. There's some really great moments. I don't want to spoil anything too yeah. much. You know, if I was going to remake a horror movie, this would be on my list. Yeah. Like, I would love to get a shot at remaking Return of the Living Dead. I think that'd be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. That could be really cool. Yeah. So now that we've talked about our favorites, let's talk about at least one that we completely dislike. (laughs) That's our least favorite or that we just don't like as much as, like, other people do, right? Right. Okay. I think, okay, it's not a movie. I think I'm going to go with a TV show. I yeah. think I'm going to talk about The Walking Dead. Do it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take a shit on The Walking Dead now. No, but um, I really liked the first season, like a lot, mm-hmm. a lot, a lot. But they got a different director after that, and I really yeah. think the quality changed. And um, 
I, I think it was strong for the first few seasons, honestly. But then after a while, I kind of started feeling like there wasn't a whole lot of direction to it. Totally and I, I lost interest. I mean, I started getting behind because I just wasn't that excited to watch yeah. it anymore. And then I got so far behind that I was like, well, there's no point <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> trying right. to catch up. So I think that it was, I mean, the first season is really great. Like the pilot where where we just zoom out and there's the zombies yeah. hoarding in on the on the tank. I love those moments. It was good. Some really great horror to begin with. And like, I mean, the bicycle lady, the woman who's torn in half in oh, the pilot, yeah. who's just crawling that. around. Like, she, she's yeah. truly haunting. There's some zombie. Oh, man. And there's another guy. Now I'm just saying good things. <laughs> there's another guy who's a zombie who like steps off the bus. I don't know if you yeah. can picture him, but he like haunted my nightmares for a I, long I don't remember time. It. Yeah, yeah. He's got like dark hair and just this crazy look in his eyes. But um, anyway, I just feel like The Walking Dead got a little rambly after a while and yeah so i i was gonna make that mine too but i you know i, I figured yeah. yeah but but yeah i i agree i, think, I absolutely i agree. think the first couple of seasons are great i almost love the second season better than the first and yeah. then three was okay and then it just started going down mm -hmm. and i've seen all of them like i'll stop like i stopped watching for a couple of years but then i went back and watched them again like there's good episodes but it's there's like yeah. five good episodes and 20 that suck yeah sometimes i think that they just played too much into the like soap opera kind of yeah. drama yeah. and got away from the horror aspect of it a little bit which i think it would be really hard to maintain isn't that show still on it is, is i it think their going? their final season is is coming up yeah um yeah no i think it also like it wore people out of zombies. It did me. Yeah. That was, I mean, that time period, everyone mm. was, I mean, we were kind of starting Night of the Witch around, or not Night of the Witch, sorry. We were starting Z Nation around oh, yeah. that time, too. Um, Z Nation, so. uh, the TV show was shot in Spokane here, mm -hmm. and we have all worked with uh, people that have been involved with that show, for mm -hmm. sure. I worked on it. I was, yeah. Yeah? I, I, I interned the first season, and then I was a PA second and third? No. I can't remember if I did two seasons or three. I but. remember. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I yeah, I was that. in the pr yeah. production office. I ran around and did the Starbucks runs. So. <laughs> that was my That's job. Awesome. I think the only thing I did, like I went on set one day with, with this guy to help, a uh, uh, really cool guy to help like shoot the document, the behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. I was there for a day just checking it out mm -hmm. and helping a little bit, but yeah, and then like uh, Sean, he was on, I think the whole show, Sean yeah. Springer. Sean and um, Juan were yeah. both, and Jade Warpenberg. Yeah. I think, yeah, I he think worked with the second did, unit. Yeah, I think he did B camera. Yeah, yeah, and Juan was the second unit director. Sean, I think, was doing some sound stuff. But yeah, yeah. there's a lot, lots, pretty much everyone. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> all, yeah, the, yeah. all the film peeps. <laughs> everyone we know was in Z Nation. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's a good, you know, lame one. What's what's yours? What, what's your, like, least favorite? The Dead Don't Die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I fucking, love that movie. Uh, really? <laughs> I do. I hated that movie. Hate you did? I hated it so <laughs> hard. It was so cute. Well, I'm just going to say it, it's mine, too, so we can just talk <laughs> oh, like this. Oh, drama <laughs> in the studio. This we, is good, though. We walked, we're like, okay, it's supposed to be like, it's good the cast <laughs> and we watched it and it was like on one of our first podcasts we talked about movies it was we like hated a, that year it was our second <laughs> podcast so like our, our top our, our, our favorite movies of the year and our least favorite and then and that one i just uh, i didn't watch the whole thing i was so oh pissed gosh. off so, so get this is fun this was like our, our our least worst movie of that year and our second was midsummer <laughs> Love those movies. No, it's good. <laughs> you have to have people with different opinions. It's great. I just thought, like, it was so, like, I have money and I know people, and we're just going to make a movie and we're just going to, like, just. It was a fuck little off. pretentious. It was I, so that's fucking fair, pretentious. That's fair. And it was like, oh, and it was like, whatever. We just, th I just bored and, like, <laughs> Uh, my friends came and we played around for a day, whatever. <laughs> it was like, shut the fuck up. I, I couldn't finish watching That's it because so at some fun. point I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I, I'm done. I'm fucking I gotta done. watch it again with that frame of mind. I wanna I wanna feel this fury channel. Like through. I was like waiting for me like Okay, we got Bill Murray, we got Adam Tilda Driver, Swinton. Tilda Swin, mm -hmm. we have all these people, uh, yeah. Chloe Sevigny, like mm -hmm. all, and I'm like, I'm Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
<laughs> that, that's uh, how I felt about that I thought that, that one movie. was cute. Sai and I went into that knowing literally nothing about it. It was like, uh-huh. I saw that, and I was like, I wonder if that's a zombie movie. Let's go yeah, see yeah. it. So we went and saw it just without watching trailers or anything. Yeah, yeah. That's usually what we try to do if we're going to go to a movie. That is a good way to we do We try things. not to watch trailers yeah, yeah. or anything, but... Yeah, I thought it was cute. I I enjoyed all the self awareness. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. Yeah, I didn't like it either. I just thought, yeah, like, like, kind of the same thing where you have the. I think it was misadvertised, um, you know for sure. Like you thought you were getting a zombie movie, but it was just it was way too meta for its own good. Like there's a scene yeah. that you know when they're in the car and they're just they're addressing the, the script. Mm-hmm. They're like, why did you say that? Oh, because it's in the script. And I think that's when I went, fuck off. <laughs> and, and it was... That's it, so funny. It, it wasn't entertaining. It wasn't funny. <laughs> this is so brutal. I want a transcript it, it, of this. It wasn't entertaining at all. It wasn't funny. Um, oh I, I, I think it's it's what you said. Like it's The director I respect, he, he's done some good films, <laughs> right? So, But not this one. This one is. Oh my gosh! Uh, and how do they die? How do the zombies die? In that? Oh god! Oh, they I like, don't, like, I don't like, remember. There's no blood or nothing. Just like fucking. They dust. Black dust powder. They go <laughs> into <laughs> dust. That's another thing. I was like, they're fucking zombies. And then and aliens dead. showed up dust. at the end. Like, what the fuck? Oh, oh see, I, I missed... forgot about the aliens. Yeah, yeah I bailed that. I, he was like, there was aliens, and yeah. I was like, oh. Um, oh. I, that's what that movie needed. There's a really aliens. cute scene where Tilda Swinton is driving a smart car. Or wait, wait, what are those called? Those little tiny cars. Hybrid. Oh. Those, those little tiny ones that like fit one person. Golf cart? Smart. <laughs> I think it's called. A, I think it's called a smart car. Okay, yeah, yeah. She's driving one of those, and she's like, "What a fascinating little machine." <laughs> I, I think that that part's very cute. No, oh, no. I also am a big Sturgill Simpson fan, and his so hit the, the song that's playing throughout it, and they okay. keep referencing it. They're oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. of the song mm-hmm. yeah oh, i forgot That's about Sturgis that part. simpson he's he's a great like yeah. bluegrass artist he is bringing which stuff up it's a great song past. but you know if you just <laughs> keep reading yeah there was good people in it which was i was just baffled as to like iggy pop was in it and uh that other yeah. singer was in it um uh, the guy who was observing things the whole time out in the woods uh right what's his name oh 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 oh, oh. he's in everything i know what you're talking about yeah. i know yeah anyways <laughs> <laughs> My biggest thing was you had uh, Bill Murray and Adam Driver, and I think if they would have had like, if they just would have made a horror comedy, they would have had great chemistry together. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. If it would have been. But the whole point movie. was like to not make a horror comedy and to just bore you. To bore you <laughs> and be pretentious. I found it very entertaining. <laughs> I enjoyed that movie thoroughly. Tom Waits. It's yes, Tom Waits. Tom Waits. Yes. Tom Waits. Yep, that's it. He's so fun. Speaking of Tom Waits, have you seen The Ballad of Buster Scruggs? Yes. Oh, his, that's a fun one. He I was so he, good in that. His was like my favorite, his section. <laughs> yeah. did, we, did you watch that with me? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Right, he was the just, gold, the gold. just guts is all you hit. Yeah. Gold miner. Yeah, yeah. He's looking for, he's like, I'll get you, Mr. Pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I'm old, but you're older. <laughs> yeah. I love Tom Waits. He's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just don't love him in this or anyone at all. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, <laughs> I, I can't believe gosh. you like it. <laughs> At least it didn't get make out, your list. Get out of the house. <laughs> At least it didn't make your list. Yeah, if you, that would have made your top list, if you had like, Tanya, we have to have some serious conversation. <laughs> We're not airing this podcast, actually. Your your opinions are invalid. <laughs> well, also, like, our uh, most favorite and our least favorite are the same ones. So, hey, that's yeah. pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. And Shaun of the Dead, that's a great pick. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and Walking Dead is a great pick, too, for, you know, disappointing. <laughs> disappointing. I, you know, I didn't watch it when it started and then yeah. I didn't watch it all and then when we started dating like he would come over and watch it um I just used her because she had cable he just used me because I had cable and a <laughs> big a good reason a projector and <laughs> TV yeah. Yeah, yeah so he would come over you know and watch it and I'd be like okay I'd watch it with him and then I'm like what is this shit <laughs> Carl is it yeah Carl. fucking Carl dude Carl I... is always getting lost there's like the entire <laughs> third season is like where's Carl Where's like Carl? I just and so he's like you have to watch no it's really good and so I watched like the first season and then we kept watching I was like this isn't good no. <laughs> it's really boring okay um, now I'm gonna defend Walking Dead because you watched so much trash I watched so much trash I did oh trash trash was good it's it good. was like I I was like I can't I can't I don't think I can 
<laughs> I can watch any more of this. It's and thank okay. God that you were like, you know, I think some, I'm okay. Great, some of stop. the acting in the first season, like the girls who play Andrea and Nikki, terrible actors. Uh, <laughs> terrible. I, I'll agree. I think Andrea, she was a blonde. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't like her. I character. think they killed her off because she was bad. Yeah. yeah. I- <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the governor, he was my favorite he's villain. He's a great, he's a great villain. Like, I love Negan, but I don't think you made it to the governor. I didn't, because yeah. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. But I think after, I think post-governor is about when I died off with yeah. The Walking Dead. I think I, think I, I lost interest after his character was gone. Yeah. Well, they, they did the thing where it was, it's popular to kill off. There was this time, I think we're past that now, where it's like super popular to kill off main characters. Game of Thrones is uh, doing it. Yeah. Walking Dead was doing it. And it's a fun tool, but like all the shows started doing it. So they got rid of some really good characters. Like I the, remember there being some deaths that I was really mad about. Yeah. I can't specifically remember who right uh, now, like but Daryl's brother, Merle. He was, yeah, Merle. He was like one of the best people in that show. He was a great character. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Daryl. Just... Daryl's so yeah. hot. We have to give an honorable mention just to Norman Reedus's biceps. Yeah. They're, they're, they're the star of the they're Walking Dead. They're the star Dead. of the Walking Dead. Yeah. Right. He's great in it. He, he's know? so hot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He is. He's sexy. And you know, I don't think he got as much recognition until Walking Dead came out because he did like a lot of yeah, indie stuff, underground did. stuff. He was doing things in like the 90s. He's in like Blade 2 and uh, a whole bunch of other indie films. He's in... Boondock Saints, isn't he? He is. Boondock yeah. Saints. Um, yeah, no, he's great in the show. Yeah. Definitely. But, um, well, heck, that's our favorite zombie films and, and nice. some of our least favorite ones. I'm and so glad we got to talk zombies. I love I zombies. Know. So. You, one thing I guess we want to touch on is, so what do you guys think? Um, do you think zombie films are going to be as popular now that we had a viral pandemic? Ooh, that's a great question. Like, just to get a little serious here for a second, like, because... They all have that, a lot of them have that theme where uh, mm-hmm. you know, viruses spread and now it's getting bigger and bigger and you hear it on the news. And, and you know, you never really see like, m- man, who would have thought that one of the hardest things about dealing with a pandemic would be like the political aspect of it. Right? You never see uh-huh. that in zombie movies. Yeah. You that don't. That could be a really fun element yeah. to play with. You right. don't. You're right. Because yeah. every, all the zombie movies, like there's no more government. Yeah. It's yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just, they're just yeah, gone. It's you just never crumbled. really get to see the meltdown yeah. as much. Yeah. yeah, how how would our government handle that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna say poorly, <laughs> probably. Um, as <laughs> with a lot of like, gonna conflicting be, be, information, be, be planes and just, going like, overhead, just dropping bleach over. <laughs> over. <laughs> just bad On social media. They're gonna be like the zombies are a hoax. <laughs> the zombies <laughs> aren't real. Like you guys, I don't know anybody who has seen a zombie or is a zombie. Right. So. I'm just saying. There's going to be pro zombie rallies. Uh, no, <laughs> pro zombie rallies. <laughs> no, I feel like. They're going to elect a zombie. <laughs> I feel like it might. Um, I mean, we're making the movie right now. It needs to be made. Yeah, yeah. come on, people. <laughs> um, I feel like it's going to like sit for a minute. I think so. I think. I think so. I think we're all a little raw. <laughs> we need some positive uh, media for a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, on that note, um, <laughs> positive media. Tanya, do you have any projects you're currently working on or would like to plug? Uh, Sure. Yeah. You or, know. And where can we find your work? What work are we like? Go find any stuff. Yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> so I just graduated from college about a month ago. Woo. So I'm we- Thank you. Thank you. It took me nine years start to finish. Hey, <laughs> hey but you finished so it. I and did. That is all it's that matters. done. It feels so good to have it done. Yeah. Cool. Took an unconventional path. Took a few years off, but... Made it. So done with college, have a piano degree. And now I'm actually trying to dive more seriously into scoring films and um, doing the kind of music work that I can do from home because that was another thing about the pandemic is it made me realize I really enjoy being at home. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) I don't want to go places anymore. (laughs) I just want to hang out with my dogs and make some music. So you can actually find my work at www.com. TanyaBallman.com. That's T O N Y A B A L L M A N. Ballman, like the superhero. Um, <laughs> Rad. <laughs> and I'm also on social media, uh, same name, Tanya Ballman, and you can buy my stuff on there. Um, I'll be music directing a musical at Gonzaga University in the fall. I cool. think it's called The Mystery of Edwin Drood. Obviously, I haven't done my homework too much yet. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta listen to it. And, yeah. 
get that together. But keep an eye out for that. And I should have more some more film scores on the horizon. But right now I'm kind of taking some time to take it easy and recover from the school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll put links and stuff in the description and cool. wherever you're watching or listening to this podcast. And also we'll put links to uh, Night of the Witch that we've talked about too. You yeah. Go check that out. Um, yeah, awesome. Awesome. Well, thank well, you yeah. guys yes, for having me thank on. You. Thanks for being little, here. We'll do yeah, a cheers. Cheers. Boom. Cheers. Um, yeah, thanks for being on our podcast. And our Bloody Marys are pretty much dead and so are we. So drink in moderation. Enjoy life and death. And... Bye-bye. Catch you next time. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. <laughs> See ya.